Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we're going to show you how to create, edit, and manage document templates in QuoteWorks. Document templates enable users to save time by preloading existing products, services, heading lines, subtotals, groups, or any combination of line items on the document. Templates can also save any default information on the rest of the workbook, such as notes, contract dates, expiration dates, and more. Templates also allow users to start from a pre-created document, rather than having to start from scratch each time a new quote or proposal is needed. This is also a great way to introduce new users into QuoteWorks to use the software. So let's start by using an existing template, then we'll move to creating a new template. There's a few different ways you can load an existing template. The first and the easiest is to click on the drop down arrow next to the new button and find the select template menu option. Directly below that, you'll see a list of your most recently used template. So if you've used a template recently, it'll be displayed here under your select template option. You can also access the template window by clicking on file, new, and then clicking on the template tab in the new document window. By default, the template tab will have the show all options selected and will display all templates that exist in your installation. You can sort by the name, doc number, type, or last modified columns to sort the templates in a different order. If you'd like to search for a specific template by name, select the search by name option and put in your search criteria. You can change the query by selecting begins with, contains, or ends with, or use the search query. For example, if I wanted to search for my setup template, I could use the contains option, type the word setup, and then click enter on my keyboard, and that will show me my two templates that have the word setup in my installation, and then I can make my selection and either double click on it or click OK to open up this template in QuoteWorks. Now that my template has loaded, I can make any changes or adjustments to this document as needed. The templates are designed to already preload a lot of the information that you would need and you can just simply make edits and adjustments. So maybe for this particular customer, they won't need these last two options, so I can delete them. And then maybe we'll need to mark up our pricing more than what's shown currently. And we can go through and for each item make any adjustments as needed. Once you have made your adjustments or changes, you'll be able to save your document by clicking on the save icon. By default, when you save it, the template name will be set here for the document name. However, if you wanted to change it, maybe you wanted to add the company name or simply say, add on to the existing document name, we can do that and then click OK. Once you hit OK, that will apply the document name and also apply the document number and you can continue making any adjustments as needed. So finding and using templates is very easy. Now if I wanted to create a new template or edit an existing template, the steps are going to be a little different. First, let's go ahead and start with a blank document. What we would do is actually build a document that we want to use as a template. So what that means is you start from scratch and add the information that you want. So maybe you have a particular service or product that you're offering with a discount and that discount is going to expire. We could add that to a template so that the reps aren't having to remember to add that discount to the quote automatically. So we'll go to our product lookup window. We'll just select a few items, we'll add those to the document. Percent discount for our item that's on special and we'll just move this up here so we'll say this this Cisco item is on special we're offering a 10% discount the only difference between this and a new document in QuoteWorks is there's going to be two steps one you will want to make sure you haven't added any contact information if you save contact information in the template, it will remain in the template, so you have to replace it each time. If it's for the same customer each time, then that's fine, you can set it. But for most companies, you're gonna to wanna to leave the template, uh, the sold to ship to contact info blank on the template. And then the second one, to save it as a template, you simply need to click on File, Save as Template. You give your template a name, so maybe we'll call this our Promotion Item, and hit OK and then you'll see that's our new template number. Now if I want to use this template, I actually have to go first close out of it, 
And then I need to follow this process that we did before, which would be click on the drop down, go to select template. And in our case, we can filter by the template. There's my promotion item template. Double click on it. And that'll open up that template. And now I'm free to use this document as needed. So I can add a contact. I can make adjustments to the item. And now my discount's on there so I don't have to remember to add it. And then I can get ready and go through delivery. So using the templates and creating new ones are gonna be very simple. Now, if you want to edit an existing template, so we'll wanna actually click on the open window here. So let's click on this open icon, which will bring us to the open document window, so the search. And on the left-hand side, you'll see there's an icon that says all templates. And when you click on all templates, this will load all of the templates that you've set up in your installation. And then if you want to make a modification or adjustment to the template, simply highlight it and click open. If you want to remove or delete the template, you can click delete. You will have to have the proper security settings in Quarks in order to delete documents uh, if they're not your own, uh, or if you don't have access to delete documents, you'll have to request those. Uh, Master rights users are able to delete their own and other users' documents. So if we click open, we can go ahead and change that. So maybe one of the items on our template is no longer being sold. So what we wanna do is go ahead and remove it. So we'll say this item has been removed. So we'll go ahead and click delete on our keyboard, click yes. That'll remove it and then we can save our template and that will update our template that when we use this template moving forward, the items are that item is no longer available to be sold. And that's it. For more information on using or modifying templates, please visit the Quotworks help file or feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.